Hello Scorpio, welcome to a love reading. We're gonna be looking at the current energies for you in love. What do you need to know um, about the person that you're dealing with or could be dealing with in the future? Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot resonate and will not resonate 100% with every Scorpio watching. So just take what resonates for you, what applies to you. And let's jump right into the reading for Scorpio. Sorry, danger. Messages, guidance, please, for Scorpio. Hmm. Scorpio. I feel like there's someone watching that's been kind of isolating themselves. Maybe you feel just checked out of everything, like nothing interests you, that you just, you don't know what would satisfy you very interesting energy so let's see what, what current energies you have here for love for Scorpio spirit what do we need to know for Scorpio hmm. I am getting so many messages and I haven't even set the cards down so I think this is gonna be an interesting reading five of cups yeah ace of Pentacles Wow and the knight of cups interesting okay bottom of the deck the world oh yeah there's changes happening. Six of Swords behind that. Hmm. Well, Knight of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, this could be an offer of love, an apology, a promise, someone that is uh, genuinely invested in you, uh, has serious intentions towards you. The Knight of Cups tends to kind of put themselves out there, like emotionally. But the Five of Cups is here. I feel like there's some sort of disappointment, that checked out energy. Um, uh, maybe someone's missing you. Maybe you're missing someone else. Um, maybe you feel that when you look back at the past, it's not with pride and feelings of satisfaction, but, you know, disappointment. This could also be your person's energy that I'm picking up on, so feel free to flip it. So let's get some, but okay, hold on, oh, my mind is going a mile a minute. But be okay, I was going to say let's get some energies down, but before I say that, the world is the overall energy, which is all about coming full circle, right? You're ending a cycle to begin a new one. You're ready for an adventure. You're ready for something new. A door is opening, right? So it's not all bad. I just feel like, I don't know, something's coming in that's great. But it's like with this Five of Cups, someone can't even fully enjoy it, you know? So let's get some energies down. What do we need to know? For Scorpio there. What do we need to know? Energies for Scorpio in love. Paralyzing fear. Anxiety, fear, paralysis. Fear is holding you back. Maybe fears of repeating mistakes, fears of what's the unknown. Tell me more for Scorpio. Energies for Scorpio in love. Poetic justice. Again, you know, it's like reassurance. You will have justice and balance will be restored. So why be afraid? I want to get this one too because it's coming out. Yeah, there's deep regret. Number the five of cups basically in my deck here. Um, there is regret over past actions. Yeah, so Scorpio, this could be somebody that is regretting how they behave towards you. I do see that. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be that you're the one that has regrets. Um, someone has regrets over the past. Maybe someone wants to make things right. An apology, perhaps. A do-over. Because I keep getting that message for all the signs right now. But I'm also getting that I'm speaking to a Scorpio that has regrets. You know, and they wonder if things will be right again. You know, did I screw up royally? Was it, is it a mistake that I've made that I can't go back from? I don't think that's the case. If you're thinking that way, I don't think that's the case. I feel like Spirit is letting you know that a door is opening. And there's a possibility for a new cycle. And, you know, all it takes is to close a cycle the right way. That's really all that Spirit asks. Bottom of the deck, we have broken silence. Open up, be vulnerable, and express your true feelings. So someone needs to just put themselves out there. That that This is very Knight of Cups energy. Um, there's vulnerability here. There's courage in, 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 in revealing your feelings. Um, someone's willing to not hold back anymore. So 
I like this energy as well. Um, these are from my Stellar Energy Oracle deck if you're curious. All of the information on my decks is in my website, which is linked in the description box. So let's get some clarity. Um, Six of Swords behind the world. I feel like there's something that needs to be left in the past. Virgo, um, I was going to say Virgo. Scorpio. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, I'm not even doing Earth signs right now. I don't know where that came from. So let's get some insight, some clarity for Scorpio spirit. For Scorpio, what do I need to know? Let's start with this world. The overall energy, the why, the foundation, the root of why everything is happening. Why is the world here for Scorpio? Why is the world here? Three of Pentacles. Okay, so you could be building something new here, working together. This could be a new job for some of you. Tell me about the world. Why is the world here? Four of Swords. Okay, I sense hesitation. There could be healing that someone's doing, reflecting. No hesitation. The Hangman and the Six of Swords. Okay. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing hesitation. There's a ten of swords at the bottom of the deck because something has to end. Something has to be closed. A, a chapter has to close here, Scorpio, for you to walk into this new door. And I feel like there's fear. There's hesitation there. This could be something as easy as leaving a job for another. But it, I feel like for all of, not for all of you, for some of you, that's not. it's not as simple as that. I think there's fear because once again, we're human and we don't know how things are going to turn out, right? I feel like someone is worried if things are going to be fair, balanced to them. If this 10 of swords, yeah, there's the fear, eight of swords. If this is the ending that they're meant to happen or I mean meant to have, sorry, my mind is literally going a mile a minute right now because I have so many messages that are trying to compete in my mind. Um, some of you are just afraid to repeat mistakes. Um, I feel like your fear is holding you back here. And this could be also someone coming in. Uh, maybe you're dating and you just aren't ready to let go of a past person. How can you open your heart to someone else if you're still tied up with someone from the past? It literally cannot happen. I mean, it's just impossible unless you're like dual personalities or something. But I feel like that's there's like a tug of war that someone's going through. If this is in you, Scorpio, I'm picking up on your person's energy. Feel free to flip the energies here because these are just current energies for you in love. So let's let's jump down here. Five of Cups. What's this Five of Cups about? Well, we know it's deep regrets. We know it's remorse, guilt, feelings of sadness. Why is the Five of Cups here? Page of Wands. Again, I feel like someone's looking back at the past and so they're not able to turn towards the future. Tell me about the Five of Cups. The Magician. Look at all this energy. This is passionate energy with the Page of Wands and the Magician. It's like, let me get out there. I'm gonna get this done. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go for it. This is go for it energy. So why the Five of Cups? Yeah, this is, this is the tug of war. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Ace of Wands. Again, I feel like you have the opportunity for a new beginning in love, in career, in whatever it is that you have going on. But there's like, yeah, Nine of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Um, I've been through a lot. Is it going to be harder or just as hard over there? Um, is there potential for something good? I have fears, doubts. I have, I'm guarded. I'm resistant to anything new because I have been through so much. Um, some of you, this is a new uh, romantic interest. Just someone new that, sh that you meet, that you talk to, that you work with. Now there's potential for more, but you have to be willing to meet the other person there. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, the Fool. This is something completely new. A whole new beginning here. A big opportunity for new things, Scorpio. Yeah, and then there's the Eight of Swords. Fear again. Someone is afraid to go for it. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, the High Priestess. And the five of swords i feel like you worry about there's a ten of swords at the bottom of the deck 
whoever's scared here, which I think for a lot of you, this is you. I think that you're scared because things haven't been fair to you in the past. You have been screwed over. <laughs> you have not had poetic justice. You have not had fairness in the past. You've probably been used or taken advantage of, deceived, right? And that's messed with your head. And of course, I'm not blaming anybody. I mean, I'm not here to point fingers. I'm just explaining what I'm feeling, which is it's natural for this person to be this scared, to be unsure, to be uncertain and doubtful. Because the Ten of Swords is telling me whatever chapter is closing ended with a bang and almost like it left you with scars. Again, if this isn't you, this is the person that you're dealing with or could be dealing with in the future. This could be what's coming in for you. But I think that I'm speaking to a Scorpio where the door has opened or is opening soon to something completely new and you don't have the certainty or the confidence to go after it. And I don't want that for you. <laughs> I want it to be different. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups, clarify by the Knight of Cups. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. What's this Knight of Cups about? Oh my God, the Two of Cups. Are you kidding me? Why is the Knight of Cups here, Spirit, for Scorpio? Why is the Knight of Cups here? Queen of Swords. And there's the Five of Cups again. I feel like someone's going to reveal that they care about you, that they love you, that they have feelings for you. Or this is a business partner or offer of employment with a job that feels like the perfect fit. Because the Two of Cups, Knight of Cups does not always have to be romantic. If this is about career, this is like an offer that fits you so well that you can see yourself in this work culture. You can see yourself, this is a great boss that you get along with, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Business partner you get along with. Um, but I feel like a lot of you, this is love. This is an opportunity for love. This is a partner that, um, yeah, look at this. Five of Cups, Three of Swords, and the Three of Cups. I feel like you have been burned in the past. And maybe you're starting dating again. Maybe you meet someone at a party or through a friend. You start talking and you get hopeful, but then you are also scared. Maybe it's too good to be true. Maybe this two of cups scares you because you haven't had it before or someone doesn't treat you this well. You're not used to this treatment, et cetera, et cetera. It could be many different um, things. Tell me more about this queen of swords. I feel like you're very guarded, um, protective over your heart, over your, you know, your, you're, you're just scared. Um, I feel of opening up, being vulnerable putting yourself out there. Tell me about the Knight of Cups and this Queen of Swords. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Knight of Cups and this Queen of Swords. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this is someone meeting you halfway. Knight of Cups, I mean, Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles is someone with intention. They're not just dating you just to date. They are dating you with intention. This is somebody that backs up what they say. If this is a job offer, which I feel for a lot of you this is, it's a job offer that, again, gives you exactly what you deserve. It might be starting off small, but the potential is there for a huge career bump or for you to move up and have something more stable. Um, I think, I don't know how you meet this person, but I, I'm getting this energy that... It's not true, true, I can't even speak English. It's not through traditional means. Um, this is not how you would normally meet somebody. I don't think you were looking for someone. And that's part of also like the hesitation because it's like you were focused on something else. You were tapped out. I'm speaking to a Scorpio that has been tapped out. They haven't really been focusing on they've been i'm picturing someone like doggy paddling like you've been trying to keep your head above water so let's get some insight on this other person that could be coming in for you but before i do that actually let me grab a romance angel spirit can we get some insight for scorpio on the current energies for them in love current 
energies. For Scorpio in love, current energies. Current energies for Scorpio in love. Deception. Someone's wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Bottom of the deck, flirt. Oh yeah, you've definitely been hurt. Hmm. I think that someone um, deceived you or appeared to be something they weren't and you didn't pick up on it. I think you were, okay, I'm getting this energy of like, someone really presented themselves in a certain way to grab your attention, but then you realize that that was a farce. That was just an act. Mm. Okay. So let's get some insight on this new uh, person that Scorpio is, has, or will be dealing with spirit. What do we need to know about this person that Scorpio is, has, or will be dealing with? What do we need to know about this person's energies? What do we need to know for Scorpio. What do we need to know about this person's energies? The hangman. Ten of cups. What do we need to know about this person's energy? Towards Scorpio. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Okay, and then there's judgment at the bottom of the deck. Okay, I feel like this person is willing to take their time. I think they will see things your way. Um, I don't know if you've talked to them about what's happened. I don't know if you've been open about your past history or why you're so hesitant to jump into something. I think they'll understand. If you were to explain it to them, they will understand. I think that they would go they would go as slow or as fast or you know take their time with this connection you know how whatever makes you comfortable because they see a potential with you ten of cups i think the more they get to know you they more the more they understand you it's like it's like the more they get to know you the more they see themselves with you and there's like a clarity that they're getting here. They're getting clarity the more that they talk to you or get to know you. I'm just gonna say it because I'm not here to sell stories. Um, I feel like there's also Scorpios that are watching this that you, this is the person that you had a history with that was not good. And they're going to try to find the right time to ask for a second chance. Even after everything that's happened. Yeah, judgment, five of wands. However, I feel like for a lot of Scorpios that I'm talking to, this isn't a past person because the world, Ace of Pentacles, the fool, this is telling me that there's something new on the horizon for you. And I don't see the past here. I see you having to deal with emotions tied to the past. That is what I see. But with poetic justice here, I feel like there's some, it's like spirit wants to reward you or give you something that is better than what you've already had. So I think a lot of Scorpios are ready for a new beginning is just getting there with all of the emotional baggage that you've that you're carrying because you know you've been through something difficult where you maybe find it really hard to trust people's intentions and who would blame you for that um i think this if the, if this is a new person coming in that they're willing to take their time to get to know you i think that they understand that side of you they understand that they you know you're not ready for something crazy you know fast or super intense. Um, I think that you need to take it slow and they're willing to meet you there. Can I get some more insight on this person's energy for Scorpio? 
What do we need to know about this person's energy for Scorpio spirit? False person, main male thoughts. Mm. Okay, um, expectation at the bottom of the deck. So this is what I'm seeing, Scorpio. I think anybody that comes forward, you can't trust them. You're worried that anybody that comes to you has the same vibe as the last person. However, I feel, and I almost saw him getting, that you have a battle between a past person and a new person. And they're both very different, but you can't tell the difference right now. It's like you're expecting them to prove themselves to be just like your ex or the person you've been with. And I have to say that that's something you need to work on because... That's not fair to the new people coming into your life. Now, it's important to have healthy boundaries. It's important to protect yourself, yes. But I feel like spirit is bringing you something or an opportunity or opening a door for you and you have to be able to see it. And you can't see it if you're thinking about this with everyone you meet. Um, others of you, I feel like this is the past person. They, they're not trustworthy and you already know they're not trustworthy. So we're not gonna waste time there. You already know about this past person. With flirt, I'm not getting that they're serious about a commitment. They're, 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 if they come back, it's not for a commitment. But you already know that, Scorpio. So why waste time on that? Let's not even go there. If you enjoyed the reading, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, it's a great way of supporting what I do for free. And I really appreciate anybody that takes the time out of their day to do that. Thank you so much. And hopefully I'll see you in another video very soon. Take care.